For funsies, let's check out the slaves that they've got. Not that I can really afford any, but you know, just why not? A rank four shadow, very cool. And a rank four bear. Okay, so we're getting some pretty decent slaves nowadays. A bear and a shadow. The shadow being the light armor and dual wieldy type, I believe. Which is, I think, why the other one that I had was just so goddamn terrible. Is because she's supposed to be dual wielding daggers, but uh, wasn't. We will save our money. Yeah, let's just uh, let's go and do the the fight against the Urus people. Probably win the first one, lose the second one. Whoops, wrong building. Probably win the first one, lose the second one, so his morale won't really change, but hopefully we still win a little bit of money from the first match. Alternatively, I could just skip the week, I guess, and he would just... Well... Hmm... <clears throat> If I wait next week, like if we don't do the temple, you reckon he'd get more training because we didn't spend time heading to the temple and doing the championship or all, anything like that? Nah, let's go there anyway. I do need money, so winning the first match at least would be a cool thing. Built a tremor this morning, perhaps Muddy Urus anticipates a great tournament. Yeah. The first opponent has been chosen Theobald. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Well. <laughs> well. We'll see. This is quite the introductory fight. Experience 200 gold. Not bad for winning the first thing. I have no team doctor. Recovers only 20%. Yay. And now the fox who is dual wielding and will just just absolutely annihilate us. But I've yet to actually get a serious. Whoops. I didn't actually mean to click that, but oh well. I've yet to actually get a serious injury. So I'm not. I'm not quite sure if it's possible for me to get a serious injury this early, I don't know. Not sure if that's something that unlocks later on or not. If we don't fight Theobald the first time, we might stand a chance of beating this guy as well. It would be nice to have a shield, admittedly. Yeah, because he wastes his turns doing the defense up and all that, and sometimes he does it multiple times to like stack it up, but it's still more damage he's taking when he could just attack me and finish me off. Like if we get another crit in, he'll be in really, really rough shape. Yeah, we went in there with like almost no health at all and still almost won. Uh oh. Four weeks. <sighs> All right. Well, he won us a little bit of gold, but now, like, ah, oh, shit, we're in such a poop spot now. Because I have no fighters to train because he's injured. Earlier this week, Scribe mentioned that he found another volume of the Chronicle of Kings and Queens. The volume is about the reign of Queen Isenda the Unworldly. The Unworldly? A controversial figure these days. This week our household cost and tax is 105, we owe 30, so it's 135. 
There's a woman in black waiting outside. She insists on staying the master of the house. She's been there all morning and won't go away. Okay. Uh, hello. Greetings, you are master of the house. Who I am is not important. Let's just say that I am an admirer of your faction. Well, I mean, come on now. How's Krug? How could you not? I've seen your slaves fight on several occasions, and I believe they have potential. I'm here to offer my services as a trainer. <gasps> what sort of training do you offer? I happen to know certain techniques to increase the awareness of a fighter to make them more present, shall we say. For the price of 200 gold, I'll work on improving the reflexes of one of your fighters. I think it's 500 for a trainer in town. Oh shit, but because he's injured, I can't even assign her. Alright, well she'll return later on. That's good. Well, damn. That's kind of a kind of an interesting random event. I like it though, because this game needed random events. It needs something, because there's not much gameplay in there. It's really just about minimizing expenses while also trying to just barely keep up with the ever-evolving world and all that. Um, it's a little bit min-maxy, not a whole lot of gameplay going on. So with random events in there, it makes it a lot nicer to play. I don't know if that made any sense or not. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything to sell. We have the Gambeson, Mail Coif, and Leather Boots. We don't have a shield for him yet. I mean, there's so much shit that he needs to have that we just don't. And that's heavy armor, lowers attack speed. Hmm. So does that mean that they might get two rounds to our one? Gross. But I'm sure the armor would offset that. Huh. Well, I... There's nobody waiting for us. There's no ship this week. So we'll, uh... Uh... Where is, it? Where is the infirmary, actually? Talk to you real quick. You you doing anything? Mystery lumps. Ugh, gross. No. She's just reduced the cost, basically, is all she really did. Here's the infirmary. Oh. Um. <clears throat> oh, there. <laughs> it's just crumpled over. How you doing? Oh. Okay, nice seeing you. Ahem. <laughs> we should get a doctor. I wonder if it's retroactive or not. Like, if I get a doctor, then it's like, oh, wow. Well. But the problem is, the doctor is 500 gold. I don't even have the infirmary, so I need a thousand gold, but I also got to pay uh, rent and taxes and stuff. So we just have to wait it out a few weeks and see what happens. I think we're kind of fucked not having a second fighter. Under five, we owe 30, right? How much do we have? Holy shit, we have like just enough. No, we don't. We're just short, actually. Fuck. <laughs> ah. Well, shit. The boat was there last week, wasn't it? Yeah, I missed my chance on that. I could have purchased maybe possibly a cheap fighter who could have won us a little bit of money in this meantime. Another week, right? Skip this week and we're gonna be negative on money. Not by much though, like I could sell his boots and we'd be okay again. Oh cool, the festival of the beautiful goddess Aera, Concert of Uras. Goddess of Art and also Architecture. Any buildings or estate improvements will be 25% cheaper.
Our scribe has quit. Good. Good. Fuck that guy. Seriously. I, I didn't need him. That building was such a waste of money. Under five and 25 now. I have no gold. Okay. Well. Let's see just how rough he is. No permanent injuries, thankfully. Too depressed to talk. Too much talk's bad for the jaw. Uh, view your status. 15 morale, holy fuck, he's gonna do horribly. Dude, if this isn't the tavern brawl, we're so boned. Nice. Okay. We might stand a chance. His 15% morale though, he's not going to be fighting very well. So we sort of need a couple easy wins here. Starting to develop something of a following. Nice. Up against Travis, watch out for those daggers that do no damage. I think if I were to start again, I would ignore the library, ignore the scribe. That would save me a good lot of money. I'd start with the boots instead of the gambeson. Uh, the crowd begins to boo. He was clearly not their favorite today. Yeah, our reputation's pretty bad. We got something of a following, but... Nobody favored him. Yeah. Uh, wait just a moment. Let me talk to him. Okay, up to 20 now. Good. So it still is going up by 5. We should be able to win this one. We should be able to win them all, actually. Unless this guy get Jesus. Unless this guy gets a couple, like, really nasty crits in. I mean, alternatively, we just kill him in four hits. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm excited because like the size of this down here is large enough that you could fit three, maybe four portraits in there. So we'd have uh, an actual cool like arena of multiple people fighting a little more to watch that way. I'm excited for that. I feel like I'm doing like really poorly, though. Um, people are disappointed. Yeah, people really don't like us right now. Yep, that's fine. We'll fight Theobald. We beat him once already with uh, with this guy. But yeah, I feel like I'm doing really poorly because of how much money I've wasted. I sold one fighter who was not winning because they were ill-equipped, and then I sold the other fighter who was doing well who could have won me a lot of money for uh, instant money that I immediately wasted on buildings that I didn't quite need yet. But I was learning, so... You know, live and learn, that sort of thing. Nice. Clutch evades going on there. They do not appreciate this kind of behavior from fighting slaves. Fuck you guys. We'll be your favorites once again. Level 5, study attack learned. Did it again, starting to make the other fighters look bad. No bets replaced, that's fine. Congratulations on the winnings anyway. Excellent, she's not willing to buy this guy. <laughs> Which is fine. No trainer, earned 100 experience, that's cool. Oh fuck, and you tried to escape this week? Oh my god, game, you're trying to really fuck me over. Uh, we at least have money in the treasury right now, right? Under 5, 25, 290 gold. Okay, we got a couple weeks worth. His morale is just so low. Greetings.
I'd like you to make a donation to the local temple on my behalf. Perhaps the gods will show me some favor. I was more curious. It'll only cost me 50 gold. Sure, I'll do it. Absolutely. Whoops. <laughs> um, view his status. Did that do much for him? I'm up to 40 morale now. 20, 25, 30, 35. I think that was just an extra uh, 5 morale there. Forty percent morale is still not that good, though. But that's what giving a gift is. I thought maybe like it would bring up a menu and I could maybe see what sort of gifts they would accept from that. Uh, we will wait a week. Not even bother fighting it, Urs. Not fucking worth it. And it is still just a hundred experience. So now we'll enter a contest. It's the L house. Excellent. We'll go there. This guy sadly will not be our reigning champion. Uh, it has been too long. We didn't have him equipped early enough. He will eventually either escape or buy his own freedom before we get too terribly far, but that's fine. He'll still earn us a lot of money. Like a good lot, because he should win this one this time as well. Against Jervis, yeah. We'll just uh, pound through it real fast here. Oh, there we go. Study attack, uh, reduce the opponent's attack. That's really awesome. Oh, he stacked it. Dude, that's badass. I love it. An extra 10 gold. Okay, people are starting to like us again. Our morale's over that threshold. I am a little bit concerned because the game seems to be mostly just a numbers game. The cook didn't really do much aside from just reduce our wages or uh, yeah, I think our wages are one of those things. Reduce our expenses by uh, like 20 gold or something. If your morale is below X, I think like 30%. Crowds will hate you, and people, your people will attempt to escape. Uh, between 40 and 50, they won't talk to you. Over 50, they will talk to you, and probably like over 80 or something, they'd be willing to uh, work as a salaried fighter for you, rather than as a slave. Um, it's just, it's a simple numbers game, and that's what this entire game seems to be. It's just numbers. Not that that's a bad thing, it's just there's not a whole lot of gameplay there. But we'll see. It's still early on. Another 10 gold. Reducing uh, Therbold's attack. Only 18 damage now. Oop, stacked it. Went down even more. Ha, now we're toying with him. <laughs> Easy. So now we might stand a chance at Uruz. This attack down is uh, actually really significant. And I wonder if study attack while dual wielding, if that would just immediately apply a double negative or not. I don't know. There he goes. They really emptied their purses. Couple bets, earned an extra 10 gold. Yay! Not a lot, but it's better than nothing. And no trainer, right? Not level six, Jesus. 
Local lords and merchants have begun to take notice of our efforts. Reach out to some potential sponsors here in Fleafield to convince them to invest in our team. Specifically, they're offering to pay for the construction of a new guard tower on our estate. Sure, slaves tried to escape a guard tower would make it more difficult for them. It would also increase the stature of House Krug. We'd still need to cover a small portion of the cost ourselves. 500 gold. The local seer. Oh. We don't have a local seer anymore. Unless you mean like the seer in town. I think you mean the seer in town. 155. That went up. Let's talk to our fighter. We'll go for uh, we'll go for the fight against the Urus people. With the attack down, we might stand a pretty good chance of winning at least the first two fights. So you're a northerner. God, he's finally talking to me. Born in Woolcroft, the most northern settlement in the whole realm. Harsh winters up there to be sure, but good ale and good company. Folks are just friendlier the further north you go. Folks are just friendlier the further north you go. Not sure why that is. I suppose they need the warmth. That hasn't been my experience. I've never been to the north. You're missing out then. You haven't known the true hospitality until you've been a guest in the north. Well. Do you want anything? Nothing right now. Alright. Uh, what's your morale? 55. Uh, 60 actually. Yeah, 60. Right. Hmm, guard tower though. Eh, 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 eh. I need cheap slaves. Wouldn't mind buying a cheap slave just to grind them out at the alehouse. Rank five, yeah, they're, they're like, they're as good, well, a little worse than your best fighter, it seems, rather than actually like random. But oh well. And you're the one to talk to about the guard tower. Maybe. P -p possibly. There we go. Okay, improve his state. Got it. We can't afford the trainer. I'd like a doctor, to be honest. Might be able to recover more health between fights so one fighter can go the distance. Three hundred for the buckler from Mio. Cancel. Ugh. Ah, there we go. Whereas our armor sells it for two hundred. Two fifty. Okay, it's minus fifty. Should I save up? We'll buy the buckler. I need more defense for the Urus people. What color do I want it? Oh, uh... Blue? And was that immediate? It was. Nice. Yes, we'll go for the fight against the Urus people. We're at level 6, we can reduce attack, we have better defense, we should be in okay shape. Oh. The Greenwood Games. Uh, politics of Greenwood? Sure. Still under the control of the Crown, so I won't need to venture beyond our borders. Earl Raymond did rebel against King Adamar when he seizes when he seized the throne, but was slain in the battle four years ago. Raymond's oldest daughter, Arlette, is now the Countess of Greenwood. The city is currently governed by King Adamar's agents, though, and she is little more than a figurehead. Still, she's grown into quite a formidable young woman. If one of your fighters can beat the champion of Greenwood, then you may have the honor of meeting her. I Yes, we're just going to get our ass kicked, though. Because this is going to be even harder than the other fight. 
Uh, I'm not ready for tier three yet. Let's check it out at least, I guess. Talk to you. Hi. This is your first time in Greenwood, I gather. Let me explain certain things before we begin. This is a sanctioned tournament. That means we are officially recognized by the Crown. You should certainly expect to be facing a different class of fighter to those in whatever brothels and back alleys you have been visiting up to now. Countess Arlet herself is usually in attendance at these games. That means your fighters had better conduct themselves with dignity. They always do. I certainly hope that you are speaking the truth. We shall see. It is time to begin the tournament. You may have encountered your first opponent before at the Temple of Uriz, Robert. A gifted tower, too gifted to be fighting at unsanctioned tournaments, if you ask me. I think Robert may be the champion at Uriz. That just seems to be how it works. The champion to the previous tier becomes an introductory fight for the next tier. So we'll try it. I don't think we've ever fought this guy. Reduced his attack. He wasn't doing very much damage at all. Focusing his defense, it's fine. His attack's even lower, so now we're toying with him. Excellent. Focus your defense all you want, we'll still do damage. Prepares to counterattack. Oh no, oh no. There you go. That's a counterattack. Interesting. Where's another counterattack? Actually took damage from that one. The attack down's gone. He's keeping his defense at uh, level two. Now his attack's down a bit. Painful blow, 24, not much. There's the counterattack, we evaded it though. His attack's minus two. He should be preparing his defense again. His it'll drop off soon, I think. Keeping the attack down. Prepares to counterattack. His defense is gone though. Toying with his counter. Toying with his counter again. Man, what a lengthy fight. Prepares to counterattack. His attack down is. Uh. Ow. Finally dropped off though. Jesus, can we, like, do any damage to this fucking guy? Come on. There we go, finally. God, I need to learn me some counterattack. And he goes preparing another one. It's like an 80% chance to counterattack, take no damage, and get a free attack in. I'd love to learn me some of that. Might be a tower thing. Oh, come on, just one more hit. Fuck. There we go. God, fucking die. <laughs> what a piece of shit. 150 experience, 250 gold. Damn. So that guy was a tower and he had a counter attack and I'm pretty sure the special that they, the first special they learn, I don't know if there's many specials you can get. But um, I think it might depend on the class. So if that guy has a tower, the counterattack seems pretty fucking cool. I want to get a tower. Meager share the meager share thirty gold. Now we're facing Athelus Shadows. Okay, so we'll see what this shadow ability is now. I'll try it. I'm not sure what the tackle is all about. I 
If we keep her attack down, we're toying with her. So I keep applying that. And hopefully she doesn't try that tackle bullshit again. Yeah, we still take up a lot of damage from tackle. Oh, yeah, that tackle hurts like hell, dude. The fuck? How? Managed to escape without any injuries, that's good.